so you're you're telling me I have to talk like do I really have to talk about this? It's a guy who films videos and a and a guy that used to play in the league boxing and I have to I have to talk about this? Alright. Okay, here we go. Um so if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock, today is the big Roy Jones, Mike Tyson exhibition where they can't knock each other out or do anything like that. <clears throat> or it's not going to be judged and there's not going to be a winner and there's not going to be a loser and, you know, they're going to make a bunch of money to do this. But the, the, the co-main event is uh, a guy by the name of uh, Jake Paul and uh, Nate Robinson. So Jake Paul films YouTube videos for a living, uh, pretty successful at it. You probably know him. He was on a Disney show at one point. Um, he is 2-0, and I think, in his boxing career. 1-0 and as a professional. He beat some other guy that films YouTube videos for a living. I watched the highlights of that one. Now, granted, when you watch it, uh, Jake Paul does look, uh, out of those two, him and that Anison Gibb fella, he definitely looked like the better boxer. Uh, but that is because the Anissa Gibb fella... Uh, looked like the biggest non-athlete out there. So you have him taking on uh, another non-boxer, but former professional athlete uh, at the highest level of basketball, uh, Nate Robinson, three-time sl slam dunk champion, uh, which is impressive because he's about five foot six. So they're boxing, pro, I, I think it's like eight rounds, pro, no headgear. They're going for the knockout in that fight, no exhibition there. Um, Jake Paul's been talking a lot of crap. Uh, Nate Robinson I, may have been. I'm not sure. I really haven't been keeping up on this, but I guess this is a big thing that's happening tonight. So I have seen some videos of, of just Nate Robinson. Uh, when he first started, I saw, <laughs> I saw a video of him, you know, working the basics and it looked horrible. And then recently I've seen another video of him uh, working, you know, doing a boxing workout, going through a boxing workout, and he's getting good hip rotation and he actually looks good now granted didn't see him getting punches thrown at him but just throwing punches he looks much better than he did obviously when he first started and jake paul or yeah, yep jake paul seen him fight seen a box he's long he's gonna be longer he's gonna have the the reach advantage he's got a good jab i don't think he's a great boxer so here's the equalizer jake paul has the experience i use that term very loosely uh he's been throwing punches and he fought twice uh, he's been training longer, though. But Nate Robinson, the great equalizer, he has. Uh, Jake Paul's younger by like 10 years or 12 years. Uh, but the equalizer that Nate Robinson has is professional athlete. So Jake Paul, uh, decent high school athlete. That was the peak of his uh, athletic career. Decent, like out of the Paul brothers, uh, Logan Paul is definitely the better athlete. Jake Paul, decent wrestler in high school. Nate Robinson played basketball at the highest level and had some very good, good years um, where he was never the best point guard, but he was up there. So um, the experience gap in terms of him, Jake Paul boxing for two years and Nate Robinson not, gets closed because professional athlete, decent high school athlete. That is the equalizer. Um, then you add in the reach and stuff. I feel like Jake Paul's gonna keep him at the end of his, end of his jab, but I'm gonna be honest with you, Jake Paul just kind of annoys me. So uh, if, if Nate Robinson, hopefully he's just been working out three days a week and he knocks this fella out. That would be that would be fantastic. Um, so I don't know how much this pay-per-view is going to be. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to – maybe I'll see the highlights of this. But it's a thing. I'm sure plenty of you people are going to watch it just for Mike Tyson. Him being an exhibition, not being able to, to knock each other out. Him and Roy Jones, that doesn't really entice me. And – I mean, I'm not going to pay what, 30 bucks to see a YouTube guy box a former professional bas basketball player. But um, you guys enjoy it. Let me know how it goes. And if you want Jake Paul to get beat up and, and lose and potentially get knocked out, you, you let me know in the comments below because, I don't know, I imagine it's not just me that, that feels this way about him. So if you also feel the same way that I feel, let me know in the, in the comments because I would like to hear it. Other than that, enjoy the fight if you're going to pay the 30 bucks or illegally stream it.